Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Danielle. Welcome to the family. Welcome to June. That is so weird to say that it is already June 2023. Um, if you are new here, we are doing a half marathon bucket list. I say we, it is just me. Um, I am doing a half marathon bucket list. We are training for stop number six right now, which will be Michigan. We are running the Battle Creek half marathon on July 1st. Uh, very excited, but training has not gone as smoothly as I would like it to be. If you watched May's, if not, it'll be right up here. Um, I got injured at the end of May. Achilles and calves, which is not um, not a first time injury. It's kind of a recurring ache and pain, but the bummer part was is that we had made it almost two months of training for this half marathon without running in my zoots, which was kind of like a crutch that I had been using for so long. So sadly we are running in zoots again as we're kind of recovering from this. Uh, this week has been weird because I ran on Tuesday, which you guys saw, which was the last run of May. And I have not run since. It is Friday. Um, and so today we're supposed to technically be doing a long run. Things are gonna change. We're actually doing the five mile pace run we were supposed to do this week just to see if I can do that distance and be able to start doing long distances again, which would be my hope and crossing my fingers for next week. So the long runs will then go 9, 10, 11 for the rest of the month um, with a five mile run and another five mile pace. And then we have of course rest. Um, so that's how it's, the chips are falling right now. We're working through it. Let's go. As I was walking down the stairs after I was done, there's a old lady, little old lady, who said, excuse me, do you know your shirts? Talked about behind you, I said, yes I do. I said, it's because I'm dying and I'm sweating. Um, but five mile pace, we got it done. It felt like a run when you're coming back from an injury. Hard, it's hard. You gotta get your breathing back, you gotta get everything. Even though I just ran on Tuesday, it was only three. It's just getting back into the to the practices and everything, but otherwise, calves and Achilles felt good. Knock on wood, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, let's get it. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. So we've got some changes and some updates. What's going to happen now for the rest of these three weeks? Um, we're gonna do our long runs on Saturday and our 60-minute cross train on Fridays. It, it it just became too hard for me to actually be able to get out and do my long runs on Fridays because of work and my calendar. And so Saturdays is just a better day. And I was actually kind of wondering since it's a Saturday race day why I wasn't doing Saturday long runs anyway. That's beyond the point. This is how we're gonna roll from now on. So we have 10K race today. I was supposed to do nine miles last week. I told you guys I was going to do that. I went out, attempted to do it. Apparently had sympathy pains for my dad and my calf um, and made it about three and a half miles and that was about it. Um, it is what it is, we roll with it, we roll with the punches. We are now here, we're moving forward. We rehabbed a lot last week and this week, icing, stretching, rolling, all of it. We've We've done it all. So um, I have been able to run, but I do have a zoot on my right calf. Um, my Achilles and my calf are just not happy. So we are at the American Tobacco Trail today to do this 10K race run. It is so beautiful out here today. The birds are chirping. It's just nice. All right. Got a Gatorade bottle with us today. We're 
Ready to go. Halfway, three point one. Turn around and back. So 6.2 race, felt all right. Um, side stitches were bad today. What was funny is I got them on this side, which isn't my usual side that I get side stitches on, but well. 6.2, I honestly wanted to get like around 66. I was one hour seven. Um, 6.2 miles, splits, 1033, 1035, 1057, 1108, 1105, 1052, and the start of that point two was 2.14. So, not bad. It, I mean, the first three was uphill. My comeback was downhill, but it was still, it was hard, because you had worked so hard going uphill. Oh, I got sweat in my eyes. But, yeah, got it done. Felt all right. The body felt okay, which was great. Except for the side stitches, but on to next week. We got a, another five minute, five mile pace next week. Let's get it done. We have a five mile pace run today. I just finished doing out my basic stretches. I got a few more I gotta do standing up now. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Jeez. Um, we're gonna go down to the Falls and News Trail where we usually do our pace runs um, and get this going. I'm so glad we're running this today and not yesterday because it was so humid yesterday. My treadmill run even yesterday, I was like dripping sweat. It was so disgusting. Uh, but we got five miles. We have this. This is our last pace run. Actually, I'm sorry. This is our last five mile pace run. Uh, we then have one more five mile run and then we do a two mile pace run. Um, so let's get this going. Okay, just got to the trail. Keep the car all buttoned up and ready to go. I gotta put my zoot on. I didn't do it because I at the house because I haven't finished stretching yet. So I gotta do that. Headphones, rocking, rolling. Let's go. Let me tell you, I can't wait to go to the chiropractor on Thursday. I'm so excited. I want him to scrape the crap out of my Achilles and calf. Thrilled. Last five mile pace run, it was 53.39. See what we can do today. Challenge accepted. I am, I feel like I'm flying right now. Two and a half miles, 24.58. We're headed back guys. Let's go.
All right, y'all. Five mile pace run. Holy crap. That was not like a pretty face at all while it was while I was running, but five miles. The last pace run we did, we did 10 30s. 53.39. This five mile pace run, 48.52. <laughs> First mile, 949, 940, 945, 951, 941. I mean, I like my heart feels like it's it was coming out of my chest. Whew. I pushed myself hard, but that's the fastest I've run in years. Years. It was hard, but it felt good. It felt really good. I will see you guys this weekend for 10 miles. I'm seriously questioning my life decisions. It's 6.45 on a Saturday. So today what I think I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna show you this run like I usually do. I'm gonna do like mile check-ins instead just because I want to actually like focus on the run and not on like having to whip my phone out and record stuff. So I think that's going to be what, what we do today differently. I get the hips. I love this 90 stretch. This is a great stretch for your hips. So right now I'm feeling it on this side, even though this leg's forward. What you can do is if you feel comfortable and you're able to be flexible, you can kind of turn your top half fully this way and see if you can lean forward. It just advances the stretch even more. And the great old pigeon stretch. I try to keep, get this front leg as parallel as possible. It just depends on how tight I am. And I am able to lean forward and go down on my elbows to advance the stretch even more. And I'm feeling it right on my glute. Feeling it right here. Good old downward dog to get the calves all stretched out. You can pedal if you want to. And then from there, I'll even go and do this to do a little stretch to the Achilles. Just a nice little wiki wiki. This is my favorite stretch, and I call it the goaltender stretch. Because you'll see hockey goalies do this all the time during warm ups. And you're basically just trying to. Some people could call it froggy. You're just trying to force your hips. I do it to stretch my groin. And then I'd love to do this guy to really get the inner quad and groin stretched out. And you just go up and down a few times around. I do about five on each side. This is my favorite stretch in the entire world. Feel this in your back. I also feel it right here because I'm pulling my leg over. Hip flexors forwards, so you can feel it right here. And then I always transition to a hamstring stretch, which you'll feel right back up here. And probably behind the knee as well. It is actually very nice half. So maybe I'm not regretting my life decisions as much as I was a few minutes ago. Tackle the hill. Now we're up to plantation. Mile two, I just keep reminding myself I'm not out here for speed. We're just out here to do the 10. Three miles. Starting to feel the pain a little bit. It's so nice out, but I just, my body feels tired. 
I feel tired. Four miles. And I feel like I'm settling in finally. Hanging around 11 minute miles. Feeling good. Feeling actually really good. Sun to my face now. Five miles, 55. A little over 55. 11 minute miles. Halfway, guys. Over hills. Hills. Six miles. 11.03 mile for the last one. I can do hard things. I can do hard things. Seven miles. I just have to do one of my cliff shell shocks. Give me a little more energy. Feeling all right. The tiredness in the legs of, I've been running for seven miles is setting in. Eight miles, so close you can almost taste it. But yet, yeah, it's still gonna be the longest two miles ever. Lower legs are getting a little tight and a little tired. And my right shoulder is getting a little hurty. So, let's see how this goes. Nine miles, home stretch. We're back in the neighborhood. Home stretch, let's go. I just kept repeating myself, I can do hard things. I can do hard things. We did a hard thing, 10 miles in the time that I wanted to, which is great. I did it in 150.37. Excellent. I hope you guys liked the way I did this. It was kind of nice just to focus on the run and not having to video stuff, especially for a long run like this one. This run was not for speed. I did not want to go fast on this run. 1050, 1106, 1108, 1056, 1112, 1103, 1117, 1059, 1122, 1036. That's a good run for me, guys. I felt okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great, but I, I it was one of my more decent runs, and so I will absolutely take it. Um, but yeah, so we are now less than two weeks away from Battle Creek. I'm excited. I'll see y'all this week for more runs. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the week, second to last week. So excited. Um, we're at Lifetime. This week has been such a bad running week. Not physically, just weather-wise. It has legitimately rained this entire week for us. I'm not even kidding. Um, so I did my three miles on Monday on the tread. I didn't do five miles because I was like, I'm not doing five miles on the tread again. Um, so instead I did a 60 minute cross train. Yesterday I was supposed to run Wednesday, um, but instead taking my rest day yesterday and now it's Thursday and we're doing three miles today on the tread and our strength. Um, and so it's just been such a shitty week. It's so shitty. Um, but we got a three mile tread. We got to go get stretched out, rolled out and get to running. Let's do it. Most of this is sweat. Part of it is rain. Because <laughs> it has started pouring again, as you can hear. Okay, three miles on the tread. Nice and easy. I was only wearing one zoot today and not two, which is great. And then we followed it up with a 20 minute Bex Gentry Peloton straight for runners class. It was one of my favorites. I do it all the time, and it's just a really nice, nice little workout afterwards. Um, like I said, easy, three miles, 3408, 1122, 1126, 1116. Guys, I'm not trying to stress my body out right now and try to injure myself. We are less than a week and a half away. We are cruising into this race and doing what we can and doing it so our body feels good. So, hello everybody. Who is ready to run? Last run? I leave tomorrow to head up to Michigan. Um, and we gotta do packet pickup. We gotta do all the fun stuff before race day. Um, my dad is coming up Friday, but we got one last run and we're gonna do three miles. 
three miles on the tread and followed up by some, a little bit of strength. Not too much, really light, but just a nice little class just to get a nice little pump in. Uh, God, I hate that. <laughs> that I just said that. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of re I'm ready. I'm, I was kind of done with training last week. I was like, I just want to go run the race. You know what I mean? Like I got to that point where I was like, I just want to go run. Can we go run this race? And I'm at that same point now where I'm like, can we just go? So let's go run this and one step closer to race day. Three miles on tread, 32, 37, 10, 56, 10, 51, 10, 45. I like doing it the last half mile. Every tenth of a mile, I'll kick it up in pace just because I feel like that's like the last finish. You know what I mean? Like that's the last half mile. But that's it for June. If you guys liked this video, please get a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Join this family. I will see you guys in Michigan for half marathon. Bucket list stop number six. Bye, y'all.